Hello guys, good day and welcome to another episode on the show, Behind the Scenes in Hell with Dr. Ron. And I'm glad to be bringing another beautiful episode this Friday. Today I'll be talking about how to get into health tech, specifically for doctors, nurses and other healthcare professionals because I've been getting a lot of DMs asking me, I want to move into tech, how do I go about it, where do I check, what skills do I need to learn and all of that. So that's why I'm doing this video. So if it's something that interests you, do well to watch till the end of the video. Uh, before I start, so if you're new to this channel or you're listening to the podcast, I say welcome. Thank you for coming on. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button because we put out very beautiful and engaging content here regularly. And if you're a returning viewer or listener on the channel or on the podcast, thank you for listening because of you, our ministry is moving to permanent site. So yeah, that being said, so let's get into the meat of the matter. So for anybody trying to get into health tech, I mean, it could be very challenging and difficult and confusing. So what I'm going to do is try to break down what you need to do in really simple steps that you can take so that it doesn't look very confusing and mind boggling because uh, this is one area a lot of people really struggle with, you know, trying to find the right resources and you know where they want to go to and all of that. Though I have upcoming episodes on different job roles or alternative careers in the health tech industry coming up, but this is just to summarize the action points you need to do to get into those roles. So the first thing you want to do is to do a skills audit. So skills audit is basically you sitting down and asking yourself, uh, what am I good at? What can I really do very well? Do I know how to program? Can I write reports very well? Do I know how to manipulate Excel or you know use some visualization apps and all of that? So you want to do a skills audit. So the idea is to find out what you're go very good at that will help you uh, in the specific roles that you want to get into. After doing a skills audit, preferably I think you should write it down on a piece of paper so that you see what you're really good at. Then apart from asking yourself, you can also ask your friends, those who are true to you, your family members, what, I mean, ask them, what do you guys really think I'm good at and all of that. So by the time you do all the writing on a, maybe in your book or paper or something, it becomes clearer to you as to your strengths and weaknesses, really. So by the time you're done with the skills or the, the next thing you want to do is to explore what type of job role you're looking for. I mean, I keep saying health tech is a very wide area for people to get into. So there are a lot of job opportunities, different roles requiring different skill sets. So what are you really looking for? Are you looking to play with data or you want to be in the health tech space and still be, you know, in the clinical, like one leg in here, one leg in there? Do you want to be in marketing? Do you want to be in sales? Do you want to be writing content, social media? I mean, you need to sit down to explore what are the job roles you're looking for. So by the time you find out the job roles you're looking for, in that process, you would have also found out what are the requirements for those particular roles. So that takes me to the next point, learning those required skills. By the time you do your search, you find the job roles, then you know the skills that you need to learn. Is it programming? Is it writing? Is it visualization? Is it data analysis? Whatever it is, then you have to learn those skills. Unfortunately, there are a lot of uh, free resources out there. Uh, YouTube is a very great re resource. I find it quite very useful. There are a lot of um, free websites where you can learn coding or whatever. There's Coursera. And I mean, that's one I can remember right now. So they are out there. So you go to these platforms and you know, use the specific keywords and tons of courses are going to pop up. So you take on those uh, courses to upskill yourself basically and get yourself ready for the roles that uh, you're looking for. By the time you're done upskilling yourself or learning the required skills, then I think you, you're ready to start taking mini projects, right? So it could be... I usually advise to, you can do that on a volunteer basis, really. Uh, so that really gives you like a hands-on experience for you to be able to demonstrate what you've read or uh, learned from your courses 
and also have the advantage of people who have gone before you, you know, teach you on the project so that you get better at what you're doing, understanding the process and all of that. So you want to take on mini projects. And while you're at that level, uh, mentorship. So you might also want to look for a mentor, somebody who's gone ahead of you, uh, somebody, I mean, it mustn't be somebody you know. You can always reach out to people who have been looking at your work, probably on LinkedIn or your papers and all of that. Are you available to mentor me and all of that? You can't really underestimate the help and impact of a mentor. So if you can find one, then you should get one. So after that, the next one is to network, network, network. I mean, like on LinkedIn now, there are a lot of um, health tech groups in different areas that you're looking out for. So it's just for you to sit down and, you know, check LinkedIn in and out. I mean, you find all those uh, little, little groups here and there. And you join those groups, you see the posts they are sharing, uh people you look to their profiles maybe they are doing stuff you're really interesting i mean you send them a message connect with them and all of that so it really goes a long way to belong to the specific network you're looking to you know get into and also be active too so by the time you've done all of this i think you might now be ready to start looking for jobs in those uh, specific areas so you need to prepare your cv because it has to be targeted to the job you're looking for, not where you're coming from, really. So you start looking for the jobs in the right places. So the health tech jobs, the lot of places that host all those jobs, you know. Uh, I know Waka Waka talks a lot of them, about a lot of them on his uh, pages and all of that. There's NHS jobs for those who are looking to jackba and move out of the country because a lot of digitization is happening globally, Canada, US, UK, everywhere. So there are actually opportunities for people to get into several roles in the right places at the right time, you know? So yeah, so that's basically the steps you need to get into health tech. Then a lot of people also ask that, I mean, okay, uh, I'm just coming from the clinical area. How do I fit in and all of that? So the good thing is that a lot of these jobs, I mean, they are the hard skills and they are also soft skills that you need. But as healthcare practitioners, we, we have a lot of transferable skills that we can, you know, move from the hospital to wherever you're going to. First of all, I mean, in health tech, you're talking about teamwork, you're talking about uh, communication, you're talking about good writing, you're talking about... Uh, excellent interpersonal skills. I mean, these are basic skills that we expect people to have. I mean, by the virtue of having been in the hospital setting or wherever you are, you should have you know, picked on these skills because for example, patient care is not done in isolation. I mean, you work with uh, other team members to actually uh, solve a patient's problem. I mean, somebody has diabetes, uh, the endocrinologist we see the person the nurses we see uh the residents we see the podiatrist we see the nutrition dietitian everybody so that's teamwork so there are a lot of um transferable skills that you can move from wherever you are into health tech so it's not something you really need to be you know so 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 bothered about then yeah i think that answer that and by virtue of you know training in uh medical school, nursing school, pharmacy school, and all of that, usually very uh, rigorous. So that demonstrates to an extent, I mean, <clears throat> uh, the intense intensity of the course, you know, shows that, I mean, okay, these guys, they are dedicated, uh, they're able to, you know, committed to lifelong learning because even after we graduate from school, we keep on have to uh, do, what do you call it? CMEs, CPDs, just to keep yourself abreast of current events in whatever area you, you're working in. And that's also some of the things uh, some of these health tech recruiters want to look out for. I mean, how dedicated are you? Are you committed to learning? What are you doing in your spare time? Are you upskilling yourself and all of that? So, I mean, it's not really that difficult in quotes. 
So these are the steps you need to take to get into health tech. So, I mean, if you look at it from this pe perspective, it doesn't really look that difficult. So just break it down one after the other. So I just thought I'd just do this quick video to talk about this, to address all of those issues. And yeah, in subsequent videos, I'm going to be sharing the different job opportunities and what you need to get into them and uh, where you can find those uh, specific type of roles. So yes, that's that for today's episode. If you've enjoyed this episode, uh, I'd like to hear what you think, your comments, please drop them in the comment uh, section. Uh, yes, until I come your way next week again with another beautiful episode, uh, I keep saying, please try and stay safe, stay healthy, and be good wherever you are. And please don't go without hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so that whenever I put out a new video, you'll be the first to know. All right, guys. Cheers and have a nice day. See you next week. Bye.